Saint Teresa of the Andes. Saint Teresa of the Andes, born Juana Fernanda Soler, was a remarkable figure in the Catholic Church, known for her profound spirituality and her short but impactful life. Born on July 13, 1900, in Santiago, Chile, she was the daughter of a prominent family. Her parents instilled in her a deep love for God from a young age, and she showed an early inclination towards prayer and piety. Teresa's childhood was marked by her strong devotion to God and her desire to live a life of holiness. Despite her privileged upbringing, she had a compassionate heart for the poor and marginalized. At the age of 10, she made her first confession and received her first Holy Communion, which further deepened her spiritual life. As Teresa grew older, she became increasingly drawn to the religious life. She was inspired by the lives of the saints, particularly Saint Teresa of Lisieux, whose spirituality of the little way deeply resonated with her. At the age of 14, she made a private vow of chastity, dedicating herself entirely to God. In 1919, Teresa entered the Descalced Carmelite Monastery of the Holy Spirit in Los Andes, Chile. She took the religious name Teresa of Jesus and began her novitiate with fervor and dedication. Despite facing various physical ailments, including chronic illness and a bout of typhus, Teresa remained steadfast in her commitment to the Carmelite way of life. Throughout her time in the monastery, Teresa's spirituality continued to deepen. She had a profound love for the Eucharist and spent hours in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. She also had a deep devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and sought to imitate His love and mercy in her own life. One of Teresa's most notable qualities was her intense love for God and her desire for union with Him. She often wrote about her longing for greater intimacy with God and her willingness to suffer anything for love of Him. Her letters and spiritual writings reveal a soul consumed by love and a profound sense of the presence of God. Despite her youth, Teresa was chosen by God to be a vessel of His grace to others. She had a special gift for bringing comfort and consolation to those who were suffering, and many sought her guidance and prayers. Her humility and simplicity endeared her to all who knew her, and she became a source of inspiration for her fellow sisters in the monastery. Teresa's life was marked by a profound sense of interior peace and joy, even in the midst of suffering. She embraced the cross with courage and saw it as a means of drawing closer to God. Her love for Jesus was the driving force behind everything she did, and she sought to make him known and loved by all. In early 1920, Teresa's health began to decline rapidly. Despite her illness, she continued to trust in God's will and offered her suffering as a sacrifice for the salvation of souls. She spent her final days in intense prayer and contemplation, longing for the moment when she would be united with her beloved Jesus forever. On April 12, 1920, at the age of 19, Teresa of the Andes passed away peacefully in the Carmelite Monastery. Her death was met with an outpouring of grief from those who knew her and she was revered as a saint even before her official canonization. In 1987, she was beatified by Pope John Paul II, and in 1993, she was canonized by Pope John Paul II, becoming the first Chilean and the first discalced Carmelite nun from Latin America to be declared a saint. Saint Teresa of the Andes continues to be venerated as a model of holiness and devotion to God. Her life serves as a reminder that holiness is attainable for all, regardless of age or circumstance, and that true happiness is found in loving and serving God with all our hearts. May her example inspire us to live lives of faith, hope, and love, just as she did.